decimals fractions having 10 hundred thousand ten thousand and so on as denominators are called decimal fractions for example 1 by 10 1 by 100 1 by 1000 and so on 1 by 10 is called tenths place 1 by 100 is called hundredths place 1 by 1000 is called thousandths place the above fractions can be represented as decimal numbers also. We keep a point between them. 1 by 10 is equal to 0 0.1. 1 by 100 is equal to 0 0.01. 1 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.001. The value of a decimal part does not change even if any number of zero are added at the end of decimal point. Look at the example. 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.40 is equal to 0 0.400 and so on. Decimal point is used after the units place. The digits to the left of decimal points are called whole numbers part. The digits to the right of decimal points are called decimal part. While reading the decimal numbers, decimal part is read as separate digits. For example, 391.989. 391 is the whole number part and 989 is decimal part. To convert decimal number into a common fraction, first remove the decimal point and write the number as numerator. Place as many zeros after 1 as there are digit in the decimal part and write it as the denominator. Here is an example. 24.15 This can be written as 2415 by 100. To convert decimal fraction into decimal form, count as many places from right to left in the numerally as there are zeros after 1 in the denominator and place the decimal point. For example, 250 by 100. This is to be written as 2.5. We can add, subtract, multiply and also divide the decimal numbers. While adding and subtracting the decimal numbers, we have to arrange them according to their place values. Rules to be followed while multiplying. When decimal number is multiplied by 10, 100 and 1000, then decimal point in the given number moves as many places to the right as the number of zeros in the multiplier. For example, 2.55 into 10 is equal to 25.5 Multiplication of a decimal number by a whole number Multiply both the numbers. In the end, the decimal point is placed in such a way that the number of decimal places in the product is equal to the number of decimal places in the multiplicand. For example, 32.5 into 3 is equal to 97.5 Multiplication of decimal number with another decimal number Look at the problem 32.5 into 2.5 is equal to how much? First, ignore the decimal points Now, multiply the numbers Count the total number of decimals in the multiplier and the multiplicand. Count the same number of places from right to left in the product and place the decimal point before that. Hence, we get the answer 81.25. Now let us see how to divide the decimal numbers. When a decimal number is divided by numbers like 10, 100, 1000 and so on, the decimal point in the given number moves as many places to the left as the number of zeros in the divisor. 
For example, 36.8 by 10 is equal to 3.68. In another example, 53.2 by 1000 is equal to 0 0.0532. If there are not enough places on the left, we keep zeros in these places and place the decimal point. When a decimal fraction is divided by a whole number, as the division crosses the decimal point in the dividend, a decimal is placed in the quotient. Look at the example. 14.28 divided by 4 can be solved like this. 14.28 divided by 4. 4 threes are 12. The remainder is 2. A decimal point is added at quotient. Drag 2. 4 fives are 20. The remainder is 2. Drag 8. 4 sevens are 28. And the remainder is 0. In division process, after keeping decimal in quotient, when there are no digits in decimal part, write zeros in dividend and continue the division. For example, 48 divided by 5 can be written like this. 48 divided by 5. 5 eights are 40. The remainder is 8. 5 1 is 5. The remainder is 3. Now, add the decimal point at the quotient and 0 in the remainder. Now, 5 6 or 30 and the remainder is 0. To correct a decimal number to the required number of decimal places, see the next number of the decimal part whether it is equal to or greater than 5. Then add 1 to the preceding digit. If it is less than 5, keep the number as it is. Look at the examples. 1.6 becomes 2 as 6 is greater than 5. 48.7 becomes 49. In the another number, 48.22 becomes 48 because 2 is less than 5. 2.3 becomes 2.